Alright guys, this is my video on overclocking one of AMD's Athlon chips. This particular chip is a 4 core chip. Um, it runs at base 3.7 gigs and at boost it goes up to 4 gigs. It is the Athlon 4X 860K, um, 4 cores as I just said. It's a nice little processor, right? But I think you can get more performance than just the 3.7 base. You understand? Maybe even can boost it up to 4.3, 4.4. Who knows? Right? So keep watching. To get our overclocking started, we have to enter the BIOS, right? So the computer is basically starting up now. So we are entering into the BIOS. Now, this motherboard is MSI's, um, I think it's the military class, the A78M-E35, right? Um, here's some basic information. Basically, you are looking at the temperatures, um, well, the CPU is at 59 degrees Celsius, right? And the temperatures around the board is at 35 there. Um, now, to overclock this particular board, or, they, or to use this particular board to do the overclocking, you would have to move to um, this area here, overclocking. Now, here are the general settings um, for this motherboard, basically. It tells you that it's running at 3.7 here um, and this is the basically the multiplier so it's basically 37 times 100 to give you the 3.7 gigs basically right now uh, the CPU base frequency we are not going to really tamper with that much we are going to focus though on the the multiplier or the CPU ratio as it's called here right so if we change these figures let us try 4 gigs um, no I think I want to go a little more let us try 4.2 so basically our base um, our base CPU clock will be 4.2 4 gigs when this is applied if we move down to I'll leave the the multiplier to decide how it wants to allocate the voltage to the CPU running at this speed so another thing that we need to take note of if you look here it says turbo core right now we need to also increase this turbo core so that it reflects what we wanted oh sorry i did not apply the settings so let's move down to the tor turbo core side um i want to move it to 4.4 i don't necessarily want it to get too hot right however if it needs to go up to that level it can go up to that level apply the settings right and there you have it our board is simply overclocked to 4.2 um one additional thing that uh i want to also share and do is to overclock our memory right so to do that we move to here where it says dim frequencies i'll put it to the maximum one right so my dim is also going are my DDR memory is going to be running at 2400 megahertz, right? Apply these settings. Yeah, well, we did that already. Um, and basically, that's it. Once we exit out of here, it will ask us if we wanted to save. Yes, we do. Right? So the computer shuts off a little bit. It's going to start back up to apply the settings, right? To check that the settings have been applied um, let's quickly go back into the bias first um, 
well it's loading up so let's check to see if we have applied so there we are um, running at 4.2 gigs right the memory is also running at 2400 megs right so let's move into the system itself and check to see if um, it's reflecting there, there as well all right the computer is up and running um, so basically let us look at CPU Z to see what we have there now uh, sorry for the poor quality but you can see that it's a Athlon processor right um, and if you even move closer down you can see that it's running yeah a little bit over the 4.2 which is not bad but it's not not going past 4.4 which is its turbo speed so with all things being well um, well for your particular system if you want to try these settings you are going to have to run some stress tests after you can use um, uh, there's a lot of programs out there that can offer some stress tests for your CPU right um, but for the most part uh, it, it's it's not a bad overclock to do um, and you get more performance out of it basically yeah some persons might say the Intel processors are better but um, for those persons who are working with uh, a low budget um, these processors can still do what they intend to do you understand as best as possible right um, finally though Right, I didn't talk about cooling, but you need to have adequate cooling, right? Um, if you don't have adequate cooling for these chips, they are going to get very hot and they are going to do it very fast. All right, I hope this helps you. Um, you can give me some, some feedback in terms of what you think, you know, like, subscribe, share, the like. All right, bye guys.